Good morning, Nairobi. I am heading out there to see all of you. And I'm very excited to be here. Last night was great. The bed was so comfortable in this apartment. And uh, heading out right now, we're gonna have some breakfast, some coffee. There's an art cafe nearby at what they call the Yaya Center. So we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna take a different route today. And I'm gonna show you all of that on the streets. Let's do this, Janeiro! Or is it Janeiro? Another chilly day in Nairobi. Or maybe it's just because we're on the 17th floor. I don't know. Guys, these people have grass <laughs> in the middle of the city. And these folks have a garden. That's great. Didn't expect to see that. All right, guys. <laughs> Nairobi's so interesting. This guy behind me, he's been following me for a few minutes. I crossed the street, he crossed the street, I took a left, he took a left. What's up with that? Should I be worried? All right guys, another thing I noticed is as soon as I walk out, people start staring. Is it because I have a camera in my hand? Yeah, so this is just a suggestion. It's walking on the side of the highway because it's the sidewalk. <laughs> it's a little crazy. So this would not be allowed back in the U.S. We fall into that ditch right there. A few moments later. All right, guys, just got detained by security. Leaving the mall now, but I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> oh my God, Nairobi. All right, I'm walking down to the CBD and I'm noticing a lot of interesting things on my walk there. So I'm gonna show you some of those. All right, I've never seen someone sharpen metal using a bicycle move the blade oh by the way anytime someone said CBD I kept thinking they were talking about marijuana such an American look at this modern architecture right in Nairobi all right here we go across some big intersections the trick is to run real fast <laughs> and not get hit by a car all right here we go First one, crossing, crossing. Almost got hit by a motorcycle. Second one, looks fine. Car's coming over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Didn't look to the left. Oh my goodness. My blood pressure's up, Nairobi. Finally, a freaking traffic signal. My God, that feels good. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but there's a, a raw cow being put into a motorcycle thing. See that? What's going on here, guys? Can someone explain this? <laughs> Alright, so that was a meat market I just passed. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, Nairobi. Fresh meats. Alright, cycling tournament. Right in Nairobi. I don't know how they're cycling and <laughs> the pedestrians are all over the street. It's a little nuts. Oh, that's the finish line. All right, we got some winners today. Right. Every block we're getting people trying to sell us stuff. Everyone's a broker in Kenya. It's funny. All right, just wrapped up some souvenir shopping and I'm gonna head over to the art cafe. There's a really nice one here. So we're gonna go ahead and have a drink there. Walking through this area, it's kind of busy. There's a mosque back there. So folks are praying at this time. And there's just lots of traffic. Lots of cars parked, lots of street vendors. Um, just stepped in some mud. <laughs> they are jamming music at Safari Com. There's some kind of street event happening with some skateboards. So we're gonna take a look. There's a Red Bull, Red Bull car. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was not the art cafe we were thinking, um, but the waiter said it's around the corner from here. So we're gonna walk over there because that one is truly a hangout spot. It's spectacular. Once you walk in, 
your jaw's gonna drop. This is the art cafe. Hello, good thanks. All right, this is the place, guys. I'll put the address somewhere. Once you get to the first floor, you take a right. Art cafe restaurant right here. <sighs> Look at this. Amazing. If I didn't know any better, I feel like, I feel like I'm sitting in Manhattan right now. Look at this place. It's so hip and modern. And they got plants everywhere and a nice bar going, some music, really high ceilings. And you can't tell that this is the place from the outside. You kind of have to know the address. Look at it, it's great. All right guys, now that we sat in our cafe, we're kind of recouping what, we, what just happened in the negotiation room. My friend and I got separated. That's their tactic. They separate you and then they negotiate separately. So I filmed my negotiation and here's what I got. I got these four Christmas ornaments for my mom. I got a scarf and I got this bracelet, which I should put on actually. I paid 48, uh, 4,800 shillings for this. Granted, he wanted me to pay 48,000 just for the bracelet <laughs> initially. And then we worked our way down. My friend, on the other hand, got some, he got a bracelet, a couple necklaces, actually two bracelets, a couple necklaces, earrings, and this shawl. He paid 13,000 shillings. Yo, he, nego he did not negotiate hard enough. <laughs> wow. So, rule of thumb is don't get separated <laughs> when you're negotiating. Stick together. 48. 130. All right, not only did he pay 130 for all of this, he also gave away his Black Lives Matter bracelet. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, just so you guys know, I now have an M-Pesa account. And I've been paying with M-Pesa all day, left and right. Does that make me Kenyan? Am I now Kenyan? All right, just wrapped up eating at our cafe. So good. All right, guys, someone recommended that if I want a nice view of Nairobi, that I should go to the top of the KICC building and get a 360 view of Nairobi. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, it's always nice when you're in a new city to see the city from a different perspective. I've done that in New York, and I wanna do that in Nairobi as well. So let's go. We're at the KICC. Look at this building, it's huge. So our plan, to go up to the very top. I think there's an entrance fee. They said at this gate, they said it's 500 shillings for foreigners, 200 for Kenyans and East Africans. But this architecture is pretty impressive. So this is a conference center. So whenever there's a conference going on, the vendors set up out here in this big, nice open area. There's a statue of someone. I don't know who that is. Rumor has it, this building design is designed after a donkey's penis. I don't know if that's true. Guys, this is a perfect day in Nairobi. Look at this. Oh. All right, we're going up, going up there. I'm not afraid of heights at all, at all. Let's see what it's like. All right, so up 27th floor, and you gotta go up four more flights of stairs get to the very top and here we are. All right, I found these stairs that go up even higher. And so of course I have to take them. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, we're at the top, top, top of the building. <laughs> Just, I don't know if I should be up here. And I found another set of stairs. Here we go. We're doing it. <laughs> Where does this lead to? Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good. All right, this is the view I wanted. <laughs> this is the place to be apparently. Everyone's up here. Look at this, guys. 
Come on, Nairobi. I think this is a helipad. And this is the new highway they're building. The first time I came to Kenya, I had a layover in Nairobi and I stayed at this Hilton overnight. There's some nice modern architecture. It's a building we walked by earlier. This really is a 360 view. I don't know what that is, but that's where I need to be. So that's where we're going. Enough of the great views. Going to that market that we saw, I'm hoping to buy tons of stuff. A few moments later. Miss, no, stop it. No. Say it again. Usini Sumbure. Don't see me Sumbure. Usini Sumbure. You don't. Usini Sumbure. Yeah. Don't disturb me. Uh, Wood Ave by Yaya Center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yaya Center. Is that okay? All right, I'm looking for my tattoos, and I think that is the one to do. It's really colorful. Got some music blasting. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see. Guys, this is my first matatu, and I'm really excited and a little nervous. So check out this bus. It's actually a private bus. They're going for a two-hour trip, but the driver said he could give me a, a ride for free, so I get to experience it. Let's go get on. Okay. Alright, where do I go? Anywhere? Hello. A few moments later. Happy birthday. It was pointless trying to speak because it was so loud, the music was blasting. And then the guys in the back had whistles. And so every time we pointed the camera at them, all their whistles would go off and they would dance. It was going so fast. He was not slowing down for any turns. And at one point I was just like, I can't take this anymore. Please let me off now. So he let me off on the side of the highway. <laughs> it was nuts. It was hard to just film and hold on for dear life. You guys did not prepare me for that.
Happy birthday! Thank you.